Blink a blink. Cool. Okay, so first up, um, people are going to ask if this at the end of the chat. So you may as well. Yes. You may as well. So we all heard about this. There's going to be Bluetooth support in the Raspberry Pi Pico likely in January. What does that mean? Okay, let me tell you what that means and what that doesn't what mean. Is, what doesn't it mean? Okay, so that silver square over there, or you know, whatever, is uh, contains this Cypress like 43439 chip or whatever the part number is. And that chip has the ability to do Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz, and it can do Bluetooth Classic, and it can do Bluetooth Low Energy. And I believe it's either the same or very similar chip to the a wireless chip that's used on the Raspberry Pi boards and the, the you know Pi W's. Um, so when they launched the Pico W, you know they launched with Wi-Fi support, which we recently added into Circuit Python as well. And so you can now use Arduino, MicroPython, Circuit Python with Wi-Fi. Now, um, the issue is is that you you know there's this other mode with Bluetooth, and you have to upload firmware and and like you have to you have the commands and like I don't know how to do the commands. Um, the support is initially coming out um, for Pico SDK. That's the only thing that we've heard, and we assume that it'll also come out for MicroPython. Um, the CircuitPython team and myself and Phil have no other information about this chip or whether it'll be easy to implement or hard or what stack they're using. Yeah, we got some requests right away. Yeah, and is, I would is, love is it done to... yet? Yeah, so <laughs> we did add, you know, the Pico W Wi-Fi is added. I don't know how long it's going to take to add Bluetooth or how easy it's going to be. Or whether it's going to be Bluetooth Low Energy or Bluetooth Classic, um, we have to basically wait until the SDK code comes out and take a look at it. Um, but you know, if it's something that we can do, we would love to add Bluetooth support okay. to Circuit Python. All right, other stuff. But uh, OETA, no information, no idea. Yeah, we'll talk about some of the Pi cameras mm -hmm. um, because we have them. Uh, we'll talk about that later on in the show. Um, we're still doing our Circuit Python 2023 posts uh, and call for your input so let us know what you want to see in circuit python in 2023 there's a lot of ways to let us know you can also look at 2019 2022 21 22 and see what you asked for and what you got um you could do it via video you can uh, put it in the circuit python forum you can do a blog post on our site you can post on mastodon or twitter or a gist on github um you can email us so you have a million different ways so please 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 send us some stuff right away and then um, I wanted to ask you about the Espressive chips because people are going to ask about that as well. Have you yeah. seen the Espressive chip? What do you think? Do you circuit by that? Yeah. Okay, so there's two uh, new chips. There's the C6, and the C6 actually, they're, we're getting dev boards. I don't know when exactly they're coming, but we do have some dev boards on order that we'll be able to stock in the shop for people. It's a um, blue, you know, you can see here it's 2.4 gigahertz, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth low energy, not Bluetooth classic. Um, running on the risk five so you know it's basically i think like the uh c3 which we already have in store i think uh, jp even did that did that for the product of the week um the c3 which doesn't have a lot of pins um and doesn't have you know a ton of um flash memory um but we do have circuit python support for it it does have also this kind of interesting not native usb but like built in serial usb so the c6 i think is just kind of like an upgrade of that it's still a, a risk five core Bluetooth and Wi-Fi just has a little bit more memory, probably more capabilities, maybe, you know, more USB. Not not sure, but we'll get the dev board soon. Then there's the P4. Now the P4 is, yeah, sorry, there's the thing. The P4, so the P4 is like, it, I'm not, it just doesn't exist yet. Like I can't get a chip. There's probably engineering samples, but there's no dev board. The P4 is kind of um, the closest thing to like an IMX chipset. Um, it's a very, very fast, big, processor that has a lot of user interface stuff for it. For example, it has uh, MIPI DSI CSI, which I find very interesting because a lot of displays these days uh, and cameras come with CSI DSI interfaces. They don't come with parallel uh, and they use a lot fewer pins, which is like great because parallel displays use like, you know, seven pins or something. So this is a, a large, physically large ship, you know, with lots of flash, lots of RAM. Oh, sorry, the flash is probably external, but it has lots of, uh, on chip SRAM, it runs very fast. It's got a ton of peripherals, um, displays, interface, and stuff. But I'll tell you one thing: it doesn't have. It does not have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth built in, as far as I can tell. I see. I see no reference to that anywhere. And so you would use this maybe with a coprocessor, or maybe you would run a very lightweight version of Linux on this, get 400 megahertz, uh, risk five. Maybe you could run like a little you know miniature Linux uh, distro. And that you then maybe you would use USB. I think it has high speed USB. Um, you would use that to um, 
get interactivity, but it's not it's not a Wi-Fi chipset like every other ESP for it, which I think is a little confusing. But as far as I can tell, it does not have internet con connectivity. So um, again, it's very very new, and we'll get more information about it. But I it was like a chip week, uh, chip announcement week. So Apple announced that they're doing, or like the rumors um, are they're going to do a Bluetooth Wi-Fi cellular on a chip they're going to make it themselves yeah don't scroll down because there's the peripherals do, do include the peripherals. yeah so sorry go up so it's got uh i as you know it's got spi 50 gpio spi i squared c i2c uh pwm rmt you know their automatic uh you know thing for ir adc's dax uarts uh and tweet i don't know two wire um and high speed on the go uh usb which is very interesting ethernet sdio so that and and again all this display stuff um so that's what it's good for it's good if you're like making a, an all-in-one interactive uh device okay um and that is our python on hardware news this week don't forget you get this delivered to your inbox every single week go to adafruitdaily.com we don't spam you we don't do anything with this we have a completely separate site because we didn't want to have anything connected to your store account for your purchases Go to Adafruit Daily. We also have some other newsletters over there.